What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be taking a look at some brand new WWE action figure prototypes that were shown off at SDCC San Diego Comic Con day number two of the Mattel WWE action figure booth. We really didn't have much guys. I mean you got to think day one we got so many things shown off that I guess they were like you know what we don't have much to show off for day two. Um, it's not completely done like day two is not completely over. However I think they are pretty much done outside of uh, some uh, some of the Masters of the Universe figures, which I am not very happy about just because it's just more gimmicky figures that I really don't care about. So let's go ahead and just dive right in, guys. You will see on the screen we have Buddy Murphy, and we have the render on the right, and we have the official prototype on the left. And I really do like this figure, man. I think it looks fantastic. I like the head sculpt we got going on. I mean, it'll be a different story once it's painted. It's got the true effects applied to it. It's got all the good stuff. But I love the torso choice, the Finn Balor slash Cody Rhodes slash Seth Rollins body choice is perfectly okay for me. The arm choice is also good. I like the ripped up arms. Buddy Murphy is a pretty big dude. The thighs are okay. I mean, they're it looks like they're using Seth Rollins thighs with added sculpt, which is okay with me. You know, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but they're not, you know, I, I'm not going to cry about it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'll definitely take it. I love the little ripped up shorts mold they're going with. All that detail that they got going on in that new crotch mold that um, the you can see the belt. They got the loops. They got the laces. They got the even um, the little holes that the laces run through to tie together. I mean, they got some pretty interesting sculpt going on there man it looks really fantastic and I hope he's on ball joints for like future customs or maybe like some creative wrestler stuff um, is what I'm thinking man because if they if they use Seth Rollins legs then most likely they're going to be on ball joints I wouldn't imagine they're going to make these ratchet joints or you know the pine cone joints whatever you want to call them I wouldn't imagine they would make them that but besides that man I, they, they even have the knee pads on there they're not sculpted they actually applied knee pads to him he's got good kick pad mold it looks like he's going to have the age AJ Styles kick pad mold, which makes me happy. I like that they're not giving him the Seth Rollins mold. There's nothing wrong with the Seth Rollins mold, but I like the AJ Styles mold better. So it looks like they're using upper legs of Seth, lower legs of AJ, and then kick pads of AJ with newer sculpt and a new crotch. And I think this is a perfect formula for Buddy Murphy. I really like it. I cannot wait to see again what the head sculpt looks like once it's fully painted, but the details are there. I can definitely see Buddy Murphy in that face sculpt, and I'm enjoying it, man. So uh, that is it for the Buddy Murphy figure. Another prototype that we have, guys, is Rey Mysterio, and you will see on your screen, again, I have the render on the right and the prototype on the left, and I really like this attire. I wish that, you know, we were getting a prototype of the Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, but I like this a lot. I can't remember where he wore this, but it looks really, really good. I'm excited for this Rey Mysterio. This is one of three or four Mysterios that we got at all of Comic-Con. We had like a flashback Mysterio in the long pants, which I still don't understand why we're getting, but you know, it is what it is. And then we have this one, and then we had the uh, Mysterio, Rey Mysterio, and then of course we just got our Elite 67. I mean, we are just getting Rey Mysterios out the bum. But you guys know we also we always used to get them back in the day as well. Like, Mattel has always pushed out Rey Mysterio. He's like Ray, Roman Reigns and John Cena and Braun Strowman. They love to just pump those figures out because kids love them, and they love Rey Mysterio, and they want to buy them, right? So if you're, if you're a young kid don't you love Rey Mysterio and buying his action figures like you guys are going to see in the Elite uh, in the Elite 69 Rey Mysterio review we have tons and tons of Rey Mysterio comparisons and that's not it I couldn't even fit them all in the video because of how many we have so this Rey Mysterio does look good it's basically your older Mysterio or I mean it's basically your same Elite 67 except with a newer head sculpt it looks like it's going to be smiling or yelling and so uh, I like that a lot I'm really digging that and it has the mohawk attached to it so that's really sick and I like that Rey Mysterio and for the final prototype that we have guys and it's really not a pro it's a prototype but it's mainly finished it looks like it's about completed we have the man becky lynch here with her uh her fishnets on and her man t-shirt and this is a better head sculpt i think i like this head sculpt better than any other becky lynch but it still looks like it's missing a little bit but you guys will notice on her knees she has double jointed knees yes she has double jointed knees this is a big deal you know no no other women's figure besides the ultimate edition ronda rousey has ever had double jointed knees so i really love this i love that maybe we can get some women's figures in the pick fed now who knows we're just gonna have to see about that of course we're gonna have to get enough women in there to make a division but we'll see what goes of that. But Becky Lynch is there. We got the single jointed arms. You got all the good stuff going on. I, I, you know, I really don't care too much for the figure, but it is pretty cool to see the man here with her... Uh 
with her face and her man t-shirt and looking good. And the double jointed knees is so nice. She's also going to have wrist articulation. You know, the women's figures usually don't have wrist articulation. So not only will it be wrist articulation, you got double jointed knees and you get interchangeable hands. So that's going to be a big step forward for the women's figures. And maybe again, like I said, we could get MDT women's divisions for our pick fed. So that'll be interesting to see going forward. But I believe that's all the news that I really have for you guys. Oh, oh yeah, never mind. We have some pre-orders. We have some stuff up for pre-order, guys. Not only do we have uh, two different basic series, we have WWE Series Top Talents 2020, and we have WWE Series 101 with Lashley, Sarah Logan, Ali, Ronda Rousey, and AJ Styles, but we also have both the Ultimate Edition Series 3 Finn Balor and Triple H are up for pre-order. I'm probably about to go pre-order that Finn Balor like right now. Most likely after I finish this video, I'm probably going to go purchase that. And as well as uh, pre-ordering that Finn Balor, I'll probably pre-order the... Uh the Elite 70 uh, Finn Balor as well, and probably Ziggler. I'll probably pre-order all three of those together, and then um, the rest of them will remain to be seen. We'll have to see about that, but those are up for pre-order. Also, on Elite Series 70, you guys already know Vince McMahon, Johnny Gargano, EC3, and Dolph Ziggler, that, that whole wave that we discussed yesterday. That is up for pre-order, as well as Elite 71 featuring Nikki Bella, Drew McIntyre, Adam Cole, John Cena, Jeff Hardy, and Big Show. And we guys, we, we saw those figures yesterday. You guys know that we covered them in the video. We talked about how good they are. You have the Attitude Era Big Show. You got the Pink and Black Hardy, which I'm probably going to pre-order as well. You have the updated John Cena head sculpt, which is probably the only thing that you would buy that figure for. I don't know why you'd want the green attire again, but you could get that head sculpt. I really wish it would have been the Super Showdown attire, guys. Maybe they're going to change it. Maybe they didn't have it completely done, and maybe they thought they could throw it together. It shouldn't be too hard of a figure to make, so maybe we'll get it by the time it releases, but I wouldn't be sure. I mean, Elite 71, that's a, that's a ways away, you know. It's not like it's coming out next week. They have a little bit of time there, but we'll see. Um, Nikki Bella, total waste of a Chase variant. I really don't see why anybody would want that. I mean, it's okay if she's an Elite, I guess, to go with our Brie from Elite 68, but a Chase variant, I don't know. I would have liked to seen Hardy Cena or Cole for that. We also have Drew McIntyre and Adam Cole, which I'm also excited for. And then the last pre-order that we have, guys, are these brand new ringside exclusive Storm Collectibles Hulk Hogan's. Yes, we have three new Hogan's, it looks like, coming to ringside collectibles. I did not expect these, but um, they look good. I really like the head sculpts on these. I like the shirts they're coming with. I'm not a big Hulk Hogan fan, but these look pretty cool nonetheless. Really, really sweet. So um, I, I'm, I enjoyed those. I have two of them in my collection. I used to have three, but I sold one of them. The Hollywood Hogan I sold like a freaking idiot moron. I wish I still had that figure. You guys know the Hulk Hogan has actually been MDT Battle Royal Champion before. So I have two of those, and I may have to, I don't know, I may grab these. Who knows? Uh, just to complete the collection, I, I feel like once I get one, I need to get the rest right so we'll have to find out about that but definitely go over there guys P tons of pre-orders elite 70 elite 71 all those basics ultimate edition 3 you got the storm collectibles ringside exclusive hulk hogan's and um i think that's about it for pre-orders i really don't know anything else um I wish you could pre-order Cassius Ono. I wish they would do like an order of that so we could pre-order that, but it looks like it's going to be Target exclusive, which hurts my feelings. Like, Jesus, man, why does that have to be Target exclusive? Um, I don't know when these are supposed to hit. Also, yesterday's video, we talked about the Jinder Mahal and the Diesel and the Rey Mysterio, and what was that last figure in that wave? I cannot remember what the last figure in the wave was. Um, but that whole series right there is actually going to be a uh, Target exclusive series, and it's just going to be some random series. I don't know what, what they tie together with. I don't know what the packaging is going to look like, but that is what we're getting with that. And then um, the Survivor Series we covered with Shinsuke Nakamura, Jeff Hardy, that wave will be hitting Walmart later this year, I think, is what they said. And so uh, just tons and tons of figures coming out, man. The Ghostbuster set is also Walmart exclusive. So, I mean, there there's just so many things coming out, guys. I mean, my God, this is the prime time for all of these because they will just be releasing everywhere. So be on the lookout for all these figures, guys. They should be hitting stores relatively soon. I mean, not this week, but you get what I mean. They're relatively soon. They'll be hitting stores. But that is all I have for you guys today. We had the pre-orders. We got the prototypes, which all look good, and I'm excited for it. But thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, if there's any... I feel like Saturday there'd be some reveals, right? You would think that on Saturday there would be reveals for San Diego Comic-Con. Again, day two been pretty disappointing so far, but I mean, I guess I understand since they revealed so much but usually they would reveal like you know a series or like an ultimate like not ultimate edition but you know like an entrance great or defining moments or stuff of that nature is usually what they reveal on you know day two or something so maybe we'll get a ringside exclusive reveal or a new proto or 
or something down the line or maybe tomorrow hopefully but um, if anything else is posted I will be posting it here to the channel so guys be on the lookout if they do post anything again I will be posting it up and tomorrow tomorrow morning we're going to have a new surgery video that I'm very excited for it's going to be the Elite 69 surgery video and possibly in a few hours I may upload the Rey Mysterio Miz review it'll just depend um, let me know if you guys care about seeing the surgery video before I get through all the reviews let me know down in the comment section below I really don't care I'll, uh, I do want to upload surgery in the morning though that's something I really really want to do because I want to show you guys all those fix-ups and stuff but that's going to do it for this video guys sorry for rambling but I hope you guys enjoy it anyway subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you